Hi, this is Katrina and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about teaching English online or starting your online teaching business, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on anything. In this video, we are going to discuss Cambly and the requirements for teaching online at Cambly. If you meet these requirements, you can apply to Cambly and you'll likely be accepted. What is Cambly? So Cambly is an online educational service that connects teachers to students who want to learn ESL um, from across the globe. And it gives teachers the opportunity to meet these students from other cultures while earning an income from doing so. The lessons are quite conversational and casual, and you can earn roughly between 10 to $12 per hour. So what are the requirements for teaching online at Cambly? Let's start with number one, you must be a fluent English speaker. Cambly mainly hires from the UK, the US, Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. So if you are in these countries, you are more likely to get hired and they require teachers who have a uh, neutral English, a neutral accent. This is not a requirement, rather it's what's not required and it's a bachelor's degree and a teaching certificate. So Cambly doesn't require teachers to have a bachelor's degree um, or a teaching certificate. And this is great for any, anyone who wants to explore teaching, what teaching is like, or those who are interested in teaching ESL but they haven't yet done so. It's a great way to uh, gain some experience teaching. One thing what I will say about the teaching certificate is that although it's not required, it is listed on your profile. So if the students come online and they want to choose a teacher and they see all these teachers, all these teachers to choose from, but then they see some who have the teaching certificate and some who don't, they can see that straight away. It's visible on your profile. So if you are interested in getting a teacher certificate, you can. So you don't have to get it immediately. It doesn't affect your pay rate or anything like that. I don't know if it affects uh, your ability to acquire students, but I mean, it could help, right? So if you feel like you're not getting as many students as you want to get, or if you feel that it might help you teach these people, then by all means, you can apply um, and get a, a teaching certificate as well. There are ones that you can complete in a relatively short time. I'll leave a link to a teaching certificate below that you can do very cheap, um, but it's just something to help you help them and help your profile as well. Question time. Can you apply to Cambly if you're still in school? The answer is yes, as long as you are over 18, you can apply to Cambly. Another thing Cambly are looking for is conversational, good conversational skills. Like if you are good at chatting and keeping a conversation going, that's exactly what Cambly is looking for. Um, they want students to keep coming back to their platform. So you want to keep the uh, keep going and keep the lesson going until you until the lesson is essentially finished, whether the lesson's finished after 60 minutes or 30 minutes or 15 or five. They have a variety of different lengths and durations depending on the student. And so you want to make sure that you can keep the lesson going for that period of time. The lessons are quite conversational and there are some lesson materials on the platform if you get stuck and you don't know what else to talk about really. So the main thing is that when Cambly is looking for this, they're really looking for this in your profile. So make sure you show that you are a good conversationalist and you love to chat and meet other people and you're sociable. <laughs> if you're not sociable, I don't know. It's, it, it can still work, but it's... Um, it's quite it's quite a social thing <laughs> so and it's only one-to-one -one. so I mean you don't even have to be a loud person or anything you can just it's it's just nice and it's nothing to be worried about another thing that is not required is the number of hours you work every week you don't have to work any hours you could work five hours or you could work 30 hours it's up to you how much you work it's a 24-hour platform the students are from all over the place so you can still get students now to move on to the technical requirements. Well, first of all, a stable and secure internet connection, of course. If you are unsure, that's okay because Cambly will perform a device test and make sure that your computer or laptop meets the requirements to teach on the platform um, along with the device. Um, another thing, a headset with a microphone is a good idea for teaching so that you can hear the student clearly and the student can hear you clearly. 
you also need to consider your classroom environment. So if you decide, I'm gonna teach from the cafe today, that is not what Cambly is looking for. You need a quiet environment so that you can clearly hear the student. Your laptop or computer should have a webcam. So if you don't have a webcam, it's okay. You can buy an external webcam to use. What a webcam does is allows the student to see you. And that is important. You need the student to see you. And also uh, lighting, lighting is important too. Again, you want the student to be able to see you clearly. You want to be like five o'clock in the morning and it's pitch dark and there's a weird shadow on your face from your overhead light. <laughs> so just, you know, look presentable looking and because you're, you know, you're meeting with paying students at the end of the day. That concludes the requirements for teaching at Cambly. I hope you enjoyed this and found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like below and hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any questions at all, please be sure to let me know. In the next video, I hope to discuss the application process for Cambly so you can pass with flying colors and start teaching. Thank you for listening and see you in the next one.